A cathode ray tube is a glass vacuum tube that shoots a beam of electrons. Inside it, a heater warms the cathode and releases electrons. These electrons are pulled forward by accelerating electrodes, shaped into a narrow beam, and they fly through the empty tube until they hit a fluorescent screen that lights up wherever the beam lands. This glowing spot lets us see how the beam moves. Thompson first tested this beam using a magnetic field. When he held a magnet near the tube, the glowing beam curved inside the magnetic gap. Only moving charged particles bend in a magnetic field, so this showed the cathode ray had mass and carried electric charge. The direction of the bend revealed that the particles were negative. Then Thomson tested the beam with an electric field by placing charged plates around it. When he turned on the electric field, the beam bent toward the positive plate, confirming again that the beam was made of negatively charged particles. The amount of bending also showed these particles were extremely light. Finally, Thomson compared how much the beam bent under electric and magnetic forces. By adjusting both fields until the beam went straight again, he could calculate the charge to mass ratio. The value was far higher than hydrogen, meaning the particles were thousands of times smaller than atoms. From all of this, Thomson concluded that cathode rays were tiny, universal, negatively charged particles, what we now call electrons. And because atoms had negative pieces inside them, Thomson proposed the famous plum pudding model, a positively charged pudding with electrons embedded like little raisins. This was the first atomic model to include subatomic particles.